have North Carolina-based artist and musician Trey Manterpool. Trey looks to his crafts to spread messages of reliability, nostalgia, or dwelling in how low we can get. Either way, his work always holds something that you can find a piece of yourself in. variety of places, uh, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, etc. Um, I'm an art ed major at UNCG because I feel as if teaching people uh, how to value things in everyday life and be inspired by that is valuable service to the world and it births genius. If you look throughout history, you see how much art can influence the actions of the public. Um, even when humans weren't exactly humans yet and had hair everywhere, where there was art, there was language, tools, and society. It grows with us and is completely inseparable. It's not so much what I have experienced, but what I have not. For the most part, the majority of people living today have yet to see something that would go down in the history books as iconic. Um, I'm one of those people. I've never spent in a moment that people would remember forever. <laughs> What I want you to do is reenact an iconic image in a public space in your high school. That could mean the cafeteria, the hallway, bathroom, etc. Um, an iconic image consists of, you know, Muhammad Ali standing over his opponent, uh, soldiers in Iwo Jima, or that fantastic New Year's kiss. What I love about Trey's project is that it calls forward this respect and acknowledgement of these really pivotal moments in history and it also breathes new life into them because the students are you know they weren't around when these things happened maybe they weren't born yet so they get to experience these things in their own way by recreating these iconic heavy loaded images in their own space and in their own school so Trey's work is inspired by British artist Jeremy Deller. Deller's work is called We're Here Because We're Here, and it depicts thousands of men representing the soldiers that lost their lives in the Battle of Somme. The work came at an appropriate time in history at the 100th anniversary of the battle. When doing this, it's important not to do anything that compromises the safety of others. Uh, but don't let safety scare you away from creativity. Since it's a photo, you'll have to pick something that you can hold for about 10 minutes and be comfortable while doing it. I also want you to think about how you can get feedback from the public. You can start with a box that people put cards in with their comments on. It's really important that you understand the impression that you're giving the public. Also, to share this project, make sure you put a picture online and tag UNCG Social Practice. This is the end of our video. Thank you for joining us, and thank you, Trey, for telling us about your project. Yeah, thank you. It was wonderful.